bless your rank, eating the pizza, eating the frozen pizzas in my kitchen. Special bless your rank condition in the kitchen, quarantine, I can't go outside. I'm not allowed to meet strangers anymore, because they all have the Rona. Welcome to Bless Your Rank. My name is Matt, and today we are ranking frozen pizzas. I love frozen pizza. It's gonna be fun, and I'm ready to declare my allegiances because I'm the kind of guy that just walks down the aisle in the freezer section and grabs whatever he sees first. So this is a big day for me, and you too. So as you can see, we are in my kitchen once again. Uh, that's because we filmed this during quarantine. You don't want to know the things I went through to get a hold of all these at Walmart. Regardless of whether or not you know you're forced to stay in your home right now, frozen pizza is a fantastic alternative if you. Uh, have a lifetime ban from your local Pizza Hut. Not saying I do, because that Pizza Hut closed down. I'm just saying that I did. Criteria for frozen pizzas. This is actually gonna be probably more scientific than any other Bless Your Rank you've ever done. There's so much to grade frozen pizza on. Number one, uh, I know this is the same one for all of them, but it's really gonna come down to taste, which is gonna rely very heavily on two and three. Two is gonna be texture. Does it have the right crunch to it? Does the crust taste like crust? Number three, the toppings, which include all together the family of sauce, cheese, and for the purpose of this Bless Your Rank, we went with what I believe should be the standard for every pizza place when you go to the first time and you wanna, you wanna grade it, you wanna give them the pass or fail score, you should be getting a pepperoni and cheese pizza every time. So yeah, let's do it. Let's rank some pizza pies. Competitor number one, DiGiorno. If it's not, it's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. Is that how that says? It's not, it's a dumb slogan. I know that much. Who's ever fallen for that? If you have a friend that confused DiGiorno pizza for delivery, I've got news for you about your friend. They're Amish. They've never had pizza delivered before. Here's the thing about being DiGiorno pizza. Uh, I'm the only one in my family that likes it. Uh, and two, if I'm by myself, I'm gonna cook a pizza, which I'm gonna do. Uh, I don't get a whole DiGiorno pizza because I'm a hungry boy, but I'm not that hungry. That's a lot of pizza. I like DiGiorno. But this, this is one that you've got to pull out at just the perfect moment if you want to get this thing cooked all the way without being burnt. It's tricky. It's a science, and I have not mastered it yet. Luckily, my wife made this, so. Here, here, we, here, here we go. Mmm, the crust is so good. Crust on a DiGiorno pizza is, in a, is playing Major League Ball. The rest of frozen pizzas, I can go ahead and tell you right now, at best, they're gonna be minor league baseball. I mean, we're talking like a double-A affiliate ball team. Ooh, well, the pepperonis are good. Oh, I like them, they're a little burnt, the pepperonis get a little crunchy. I just think that, yep, yeah, DiGiorno suffers from the fact that it doesn't have a distinguishable crust. The cheese just kind of overtakes the whole crust part of the pizza. And I'm a big cheese guy, big fan of the cheese. But I think you need to have, like, the crust showing a little bit more. Look at this, this is stage one. It creeps in, it starts to take over a little bit. It's like kudzu, and this is a week later. The cheese, the kudzu cheese has taken over everything. Now you don't, you don't even remember what it used to look like. Is it the best pizza that I'll have today? That's a strong possibility, because I am a big DiGiorno's fan. <sighs> DiGiorno pizza, currently in first place. There you go. Competitor number two, a pizza that I can't recall I've ever had. So that can mean one of two things, uh, that it is uh, quite unremarkable or uh, causes you to black out. This thing is basically cardboard. This is cardboard with sauce on it. Cheese coverage not, <sighs> Great, especially on this piece. This piece is scared of cheese. This is, that's a sad, I'm not even gonna bother eating that one. That's not fair to rank that pizza on that slice right there. All right, down the hatch. I don't hate this as much as I thought I would. I like the crunch that it gave you when you bite into it, but then it gave you some chewiness with the dough. It's a weird, unnatural mix that I enjoy. Then the sauce flavor is just gone. It gives up, it's weak, and it's even a pretty bad aftertaste in my mouth. Pepperoni, not good. Pepperoni on this is terrible. It has like no flavor. This is like a Lunchable pepperoni. Oh, is Tony's the same people that make Lunchables? Because this right here is not good. I think this is on the cheaper end of pizzas. I think we only had it uh, in this house because um, Walmart pickup gave it to us. We asked for other pizza. They said, no, you'll get Tony's and you'll, you'll be fine with it. That's how Tony's is making their business right now, by accident, accidental sales. Tony's. I give you currently, the best is gonna get for you all day long, I guarantee. Second place. Great job, Tony's. It was not a good job, it actually was a terrible job. All right, let's do this thing. Competitor number three, Red Baron, right? Yeah, look at him, look at him there. Just loving it, scarf just going in the wind. He's so fashionable. 
How did the story of the Red Baron, did he make pizza and fight in the war? At the same time, you don't have time to do both. You can't fight in the war and make pizza. I want to tell you too, Red Baron guy on the logo looks real cocky. And I don't think this is getting up number one. Red Baron is one of the pizzas that we eat the most in our household. Why? I don't know. I don't buy the groceries. Lisa, why do we eat Red Baron so much? Because it's cheap. That's what she told me. So, do you know why we have to eat this? Because y'all won't sit through the ads. Sit through the ads so I can buy DiGiorno. I want to be living that DiGiorno life. <laughs> All right, Red Baron, here we go. This is not seem nearly as good as I remember it. Of course, when we eat pizza, we don't eat it with five different kinds. This is not turning out good at all. This is really bad, actually. This is worse than Tony's. I mean, you thought you were eating a 10, but then you get around real 10s, and you're like, I've been eating a four. On a good day, 4.5. Were you off your game, Red? What happened? Too busy about getting his scarf just right. Posing in the wind. Too busy trying to be an influencer instead of making good pizza right now. Trying to get that. Lulu Lemon sponsorship. Ranking Red Baron, where do I put it? Uh, dead last right now. Dead last, and I'm surprised to say that. Now I'm, it's, it's anybody's game at this point. Anybody's game. Competitor number four, Tombstone. Oh, I got sauce everywhere. Oh no, I, this is like a crime scene. Tombstone pizza. What are my thoughts? I can tell you by looking at this, this looks better than all the other flat pizzas that I've seen so far. It just looks more natural. It has great cheese coverage on it. The pepperoni looks just like pepperoni. I can't really tell till I eat it. Oh, two soap pizza. Here we go. Everything about this tastes better than the other flat pizzas. The sauce tastes like real sauce. I mean, kind of. The cheese is good. The crust is good. I mean, it has all the qualities you expect out of like a frozen pizza that comes on a big old slab of cardboard. Pepperoni was okay. It's a little thin. It's like the thinnest pepperoni I think I've had yet, but that's okay. I'd rather it be thin, mediocre pepperoni than a big old slab of bad pepperoni. That's a good way to live life. I'd rather have a little bit of an okay thing than a whole bunch of a terrible thing. Matt Wisdom. That's free, y'all. But Tombstone, for the flat cardboard pizzas, if you're a fan of that type and not the kind of the pizza that rises uh, on its own, like, like Pizza Magic, then, then Tombstone is it. You know, unless you like to play with Pizza Magic. Then just be careful, kids. It's a dark path. The dark arts of Pizza Magic. It's a dangerous place. Competitor number five, freshetta. Fresh, freshetta, fresh, freshetta, freshita. Sounds fancy. And this is a good looking pizza. This is the first pizza that I've seen yet that actually has a distinguishable crust on it. I'm excited about this. Now, earlier, DiGiorno, if, if it, it's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. No, I don't believe that. If you said this was delivery, I would say mm, maybe uh, something's going on at your Domino's. Cause that looks weird for for delivery, but it looks pretty good for frozen. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Y'all, I'm just gonna say it. I think that is frozen pizza perfection. Everything about that is delicious. The crust was perfect. It's chewy, cheese is delicious, the sauce is really good. And I feel like this was gonna be good, but I knew that when I went to go to Walmart to get all of these, this was the last box of freshetta. That was it. And it wasn't even the right spot. I think I found it in the ice cream section. I was worried. I was like, did this been tampered with? But I said, I don't care. I took a chance. And it turned out to be the best gamble I've made yet in quarantine. To be fair, I don't, there's not been any gambling. The, the biggest decision I make every day is should I shower or not? Most times I just say no. What's the point? This is good. Dare I say that this uh, uh, freshetta pizza is better than some delivery slash takeout places. I'm not gonna name any names, but I will say that their mascot is a small uh, Roman guy. Freshetta Pizza, congratulations. You're currently in first place. Competitor number six, a frozen pizza I am 100% sure I've never had before, but it is the largest and cheapest one at the grocery store. And that pizza is Jack's. This is, this is really sad. I know I've joked about the cardboard under the pizzas, but I honestly cannot tell if the cardboard was actually stuck to the pizza. Why are there little holes on the bottom of it? Why is it perforated? Why, 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 why? This is bad. This is a bad pizza. I hate literally everything about this. The crust, non-existent. It's just cardboard, that's not fair. Why is there a weird smoky flavor on the pepperonis? Oh, it's garbage. This tastes like someone seasoned this with liquid smoke. Oh. I don't want to hold it anymore, but I have to because of the way we're sitting in my kitchen. Ugh. This is garbage. This is garbage pizza. This actually, it's not fair to call this pizza. It's bad. I've never, I've never done this on Bless Your Rank. But to consider this a PSA, 
Maybe we'll get government funding for this. I don't know. Don't get a Jack's Pizza. Get two of these. Get two of these. And it'll give you just as much pizza, pizza, and it will be a thousand times better. I can't, we didn't rank these because I don't feel like they're in the same family as these pizzas. These are in a subcategory. I've been calling them the pizza cousins. I've, I've lived off these for 30 something years now. And look how healthy I am. I'm the picture of health. Jack's, stop. I don't, Jack, if you're watching this, stop doing this to us. Make real pizza or don't make pizza at all. America's gone through enough right now. It shouldn't have to eat your pizza too. You are in dead last. Enjoy your time with Mr. Scarf, Red Baron. That's it for this very special episode of Bless Your Rank Frozen Pizza Edition. What have we learned today? We learned that Freshetta Pizza is uh, in a whole nother league. If I could create a little bit of distance right here, I would do it between Freshetta and DiGiorno. Uh, when it comes to the thin cardboard family, Tombstone. Uh, I feel really good about this. And if you disagree with me, you know, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you're in the Red Baron cult. Maybe your scarf's a little too tight. It's not good. And I feel really bad because I've been eating Red Baron a lot here at the house and now I'm questioning everything about my life. Freshetta's just been there the whole time and I've been ignoring her. And she's so good. She's so good to me. Have I been in quarantine for so long that I think these pizzas are made by real people and their names are who they are? Yeah, I am. Have, am I going crazy? Absolutely. My only friends are the people on the boxes of the frozen pizzas. So anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> Send help. Oh, hey, you're still here. I don't know why. Is it on autoplay? Did you walk away? Are the only people in your room the dogs? This message is for them. Oh, 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 oh. Now, I just told your dog to subscribe to our channel. Probably gonna hit their paw on your keyboard and uh, oh, oh, oh. That means smash that bell for notifications. Your dog understands what it means, don't worry. If they're walking on your keyboard right now, just let them do their thing. They're almost done. They got it, a little to the left. Nailed it. You got it. Thanks, Spot. If you're a cat, get out of the room because cats suck.